university graduates emerge from colleges very often as ignorant uh, about things scientific as they were when they entered high school in some sense. I think the universities bear a lot of responsibility for some of our problems. For example, they're in charge of training teachers and especially primary school teachers. And yet primary school teachers all over the country emerge from these teachers colleges totally ignorant about mathematics and science. And they, when they have to teach it as a requirement in kindergarten, first grade, second grade, they install their own insecurities in the minds of the children. And that's terrible, that creates a, an attitude and will speak uh, uh, with great danger to the future uh, flow of of not only scientists and engineers, but also of a public that is comfortable with science and that has a role to play in how science uh, evolves to help the nation in many ways. You only have to look at the technology of cell phones and internet and uh, the vast array of, uh, of things that have emerged from the technology and from the scientific understanding of the world in which we live. And you have to say, are we teaching students the right things and clearly we're not. We have to raise teachers' salaries. We have to improve the curriculum. These are things we must do. We must have the same priority for these things as the nation had when it perceived the threat of a Soviet uh, satellite, uh, Sputnik, and, uh, and acted to create NASA, which of course became a, a very successful agency uh, doing exactly what it was expected to do. Our recommendation was to create a new entity which would sit in Washington, which would not be a federal institution, but it would play the role of collecting together the best minds devoted to education to pick on the things that we thought were important and to get the legislation not only written and discussed, but then passed by the Congress.